What's going on, Beef of Fam? I'm Carlos. This is Steven. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, I'm going to be smelling some vintage fragrances from back in the day, 80s, possibly late 70s. Maybe even earlier than that, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And uh, it's going to be a blind sniff. Steven's going to do it with me, and uh, we're going to have some fun. Keep it right there. Thanks so much for tuning in today. As always, we really do appreciate it and hope that this video finds you all safe and healthy. If this is your first time landing here, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, I would love if you could consider subscribing to my channel. Show some love over at Red Lessons. Thank you. Come back here and click the bell icon and that will inform you whenever I upload some content here to BFL. Speaking of content, nice to see you again, sir. Of course, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for making the trip to New Jersey. My pleasure, my pleasure. It's been a couple of days, you know, a lot of fun. It's uh, kind of a task to um, try and think of ideas that'll keep you guys entertained, that'll keep things fun, and to break up the monotony of top 10 this and top 10 that and top 10 whatever. Those are fun and we enjoy doing them, but it's also fun to do things like fragrances he likes that I don't. Today is something different. It was his idea, I won't take the credit, <laughs> but it came to him just like that. Why don't we, blah, 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 blah. So he has some vintage fragrances that he's chosen. I might have worn some, probably have. Do I remember them? I don't know. We will see, but let's have some fun. I'm gonna blind sniff and uh, let's do this. Let's do it, sounds exciting. So just wanna clarify that these are classic fragrances. They're kind of old. Uh, when we use the word vintage, we mean in terms of their aesthetic and olfactory profile. Some of these are actually vintage formulations, but not all of them, so I can't. If I do encounter one that is vintage, I'll make sure to mention it. Like this one is vintage and of course some of these were probably reformulated along the way. And we're gonna be following a slightly different format where Carlo just sm smells them one by one, gives his thoughts on the fragrance. Maybe if you don't mind ranking it from one to 10 or yeah, zero to be, 10. <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, cool. And they're all gonna be given to you in a random order. They're all designer fragrances, no niche fragrances yeah. in this list. Okay. You uh, didn't tell me what they are, but I can only imagine, so, uh, all right, I'm down, let's go. Gotta hide my face, yeah? All right, yes, please go right ahead. And of course, some of these fragrances are, they could possibly be ones that he has owned in the past, maybe he used to wear, maybe he's never had some of these, who knows? So, it's always curious to get your thoughts. Or I won't remember, Mr. Dingbat Airhead Brain. Well, that's the thing too, <laughs> if it's been a few decades. All right, here you are. The first one. This is strong, it's definitely strong. Mm hmm it doesn't smell like anything that I've owned before. It smells masculine for sure. It's not one of those things that could be unisex. This is masculine. This reminds me of back in the olden days. Oh yeah. Discos maybe or uh, in the 80s in the punk clubs, whatever, but punks didn't wear. Cologne, <laughs> shut up, Carlos. I'm sure some of them <laughs> did, right? We all wear fragrance. I was a little punky. I, I wore fragrance. Yeah. But, um,. This is definitely old school. I don't know that it would work today, but it does smell good. Um, so I'm gonna say maybe six and a half. That's pretty favorable. That's above a five, so yeah. it's it's on the better side of things. So now that you've rated it, this one by Dana is English leather. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever owned this one? <laughs> <laughs> what is that reaction about? Because one of my first jobs in the shoe industry, my manager liked to uh, blaze back then. And whenever he finished, he would come and soak himself. This, was the bigger size with like a wooden cap or is that a different <laughs> English leather? No, it's the same one. So yeah. he would spray it on to cover the, the smell of it and it was horrible and it just triggered me and irked me. So thank God it didn't stay deep rooted in my olfactory memory, but uh. Yeah. I'm sure it's been reformulated as well because, you know, this is a newer bottle, so I'm not claiming cap. to have a vintage or anything. I and know a wooden box, maybe? 
Yeah, and I think the bottle has a different shape to it with the, the larger presentation. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just got the small size here. I purchased this one, but... Uh, That's really funny. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that was the first one. Let's go ahead and put it like here or something can like you that. Can test strip it uh, You can keep the test strip in front of it. Maybe we'll go back and we'll sniff the dry down or something. You got it. Okay, so moving on to the next one. We're going to try to go through this kind of quickly. Here's the next one. So this is nice. Again, masculine. Mm -hmm. I mean... It's really funny because, like, back in the day, they didn't make they made feminine fragrances and they made masculine fragrances. This smells it's, it's a little spicy. It's not abrasive or anything. Mm. It smells like <laughs> all my uncles in their suits <laughs> at the weddings and everything. So, uh, yeah, yeah, this is um, I'll give it a six and a half too. Okay, so we have a tie so far. This one is Agua Brava. So here's the next one. And of course, I'm leaving the titles down below as well. Whoa, these are strong. Mm. I mean, <laughs> I remember testing some current things that I could hardly smell on the paper, but. Would you say you like this more or less than the first two? Possibly, it's a, maybe more. Did I say six and a half here? I thought I said six. Six and a half, it was a tie for both. So I six and a half, okay. Uh, this this will be a seven, I like it a little more. It's, um, it's spicy, it's masculine. Um, um, aromatic mm -hmm. and a little definitely old schoolish for sure. And the one you just smelled that you gave a seven to is One Man Show by Jacques Bogart. And uh, did you ever have this one? I never had it, but I've seen it talked about in the forums and in the groups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, all right, cool. <laughs> Trying not to take up too much of your time, but we definitely appreciate the viewership. Oh, wow, well. boy, um, the, common, the common theme here is uh, Definitely strong. Everything is just full. These are not sport flankers. <laughs> wow. So this is really nice and a, a bit old school, but could be modern. Yeah, I agree. Um, is any particular note or, or uh, new one sticking out? Not really. It smells, it smells like, this one <laughs> reminds me of <laughs> the guy in the pew in church that puts on too much cologne. Okay, okay. And that's not always a bad thing. They mean well, but they don't, you know. This is pleasant, and it's definitely a, it's a good reminder of vintage aromas and colognes and times past. So I'm going to give that one a seven and a half. We're getting higher. <laughs> the score is increasing. Very cool. So this one kind of reminds me of cool water, but with like a freshly laundered clothing cotton vibe. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't get aquatic or, but whatever. Listen, we get different things. Yeah, for sure. What is it? This one is Wings by Giorgio Beverly Hills, composed by Jean-Claude Delville. Ah, don't we know that name? I think, yeah. It's, I, I think I might have uh, said hello to him once or twice in the yeah. past. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, moving on. This one is a vintage formulation, by the way. Of this, this next fragrance. Okay, I was in wings. Don't list. look yet. I'm not. This is it's very. These are so loud. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very loud in in terms of the uh, composition. Um, what am I getting from it? It's aromatic ish. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's it's certainly old school. And, um, but it is, it, it's rather nice. Mm -hmm. Did this say seven? You gave this a seven and a half. Good. So this could be a seven. And this one is by Azzaro and it's actor. Okay, so the next one. This is softer, but a little bit animalic. Mm -hmm. It's a little, uh, it's, a, it's got, it's a little ballsy if, if I may. Yeah, of course. It's interesting. I'm trying to see if it's something that I've worn before. It doesn't. It doesn't uh, smell like something. I do like that. Um, six and a half. So this one is Halston One Twelve. I own that. <laughs> damn it! <laughs> you have this one and Z Fourteen, right? Yeah, Z Fourteen yeah. was a longer portion of my life. But when I got tired of uh, Z Fourteen, I started with this one. Mmm, it's a little lemony, like a, it's a little fresh, a little bright. Absolutely. Yet has a has a strong base. This is nice. This is this is rather pleasant. Um, I'll seven that. Wow, very good. 
and it's Jovan Musk. <laughs> I wore that too. It's one of my first ones ever in my life. <laughs> You've suppressed so many memories, it seems, Carlos. <laughs> yeah. This is this is strong. Very nice. Um, I don't think I get any floral components. It's a little, perhaps, ambery and uh, uh, kind of woodish, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't smell any bright citruses or anything of that nature. I do like this. There's a soapy quality as well. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> this is really pretty good. And this one is also really inexpensive as well. I'm going to go to seven. There's got to be a real eight in there. Like, I, I, I do like it a lot, though, on the real, but I, I'm just going to... Keep it safe with a seven. So this one is Saruti 1881. Here you are. Did that spray give you a little trouble? It did, yeah. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is um clean again. It's uh, it's soapy. It's good. No, a soapiness is what I get. It smells good. It smells fresh. Not not so overly dated. Six and a half. So I got the original Bijan for men. I used to wear that too. Yeah, I had to look at the box because I know there's also <laughs> Bijan Nude, which I own. So I wanted to make sure that I sprayed the original. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. In my opinion, this is the strongest one of all the fragrances that I just sprayed for you. Um, Probably except for the Azaro. I can read just the scores. <laughs> well, yeah, let's smell them again now after you smell all of them. Here you go, sir. All right, cool beans. This is a little subtle. Um, it, it smells gentlemanly and, and, and soapy again. I think maybe I have a soapy thing going on in my nose. It's not overly strong, but pleasant. Not particularly dated. Um, six. So this one is Mambo by Liz Claiborne. I've heard of it, never, never, never smelled it. In any case, I do think we have some really cool fragrances here in yeah. front of us. I think the highest one that you rated was actually Wings by Giorgio yeah. Beverly Hills. Now, if you had to revisit some of these, uh, given your memory and also your impressions from today, uh, if you had to reassess some of them, what would you say is your favorite from the 10 that we have on this table? The, I really do like this this one for some reason. Yep. It, it, it could be an eight. Yep. Not in fragrance world, but just the ones that we're working with today. This is... And I actually reviewed this fragrance and for me, there's a similarity to Davidoff's Cool Water or Cody's Aspen. It's kind of in that family, but it has this freshly laundered clothing cotton vibe. So you can spray this one on clothes and it smells like it just came out of the dryer with some fresh dryer sheets. It's an awesome smell, very functional, very versatile. And despite the fact that it came out as many decades ago as it did, I still find this one to be quite modern and youthful and contemporary. Where's the Dracon Noir? What happened? You forgot that? You know what? And I actually own that one as well. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. LaRoche. Thank you. <laughs> My pleasure, Carlos. Anytime. All right, you guys. That's what we have for you today. I can't say short and sweet because I don't think this was short and sweet. <laughs> but we do appreciate you watching. We appreciate your support. We hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, you take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye.